Oh, good girl. Did you guys get them all? Did mama restock? Good girl. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be using some scrap fleece to make two simple easy DIYs. The first does not require a sewing machine and the second more than likely you are definitely going to want to have one. If you don't it will probably take you like an additional hour and a half to make this project. Both of these projects are toys or interactive toys for your pets. Um, they can actually be used for cats, dogs, ferrets, guinea pigs, rabbits, and so on. They are very interchangeable among all of the little species. Um, and they are not just strictly for small pets. Speaking of which, if you guys know of any rescues for um, small pets, particular or cats and dogs, that are in need of any kind of bedding supplies, please drop that information into the comment section. I am actively looking for some rescues to donate some items to. Also, if you purchase from my Etsy shop or if you're interested in purchasing from my Etsy shop and you're looking for um, Halloween decor, I will be putting up a bunch of ready to ship cage accessories on Monday, August 16th. Um, if you're looking for cage liner sets for Halloween, I am actually not going to offer those as ready to ship. I'm actually only doing those as custom orders right now. I'm not exactly sure how many I would end up selling and I do not need any extra fabric. Um, so if you're interested in Halloween liners, make sure that you contact me by going to my Etsy shop's homepage um, and clicking the contact button under my profile picture. My Etsy shop is also called Ferret Tales. There will be a link in the description. There's also a link on my YouTube page and, um, and I will be more than happy to work with you. And if you would like to sew your own cage liners, I have a tutorial for that. I will put a link to that tutorial in the description and then you can make your own. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so for this next tutorial, you're gonna need four strips of fleece cut approximately the same length. So take your four pieces and um, grab them at the end and put them on top of each other. However, whatever order you want, it doesn't matter, honestly. So they should look like this. And then you're gonna tie a knot. You can, if you, if you make the knot long, you can have frillies at the end. You can have frillies at one end. It's completely up to you. Um, so I'm just gonna do kind of a little knot pull it as tight as you can so you should have something that looks like this now now you may need something heavy to lay on top of this when once you get started because once you start to pull your knots this is going to move and that's really annoying you can put it between your knees um, I have been using a bag of a bag of my shipping bags because they're heavy so however you want to do it but before we do that let me show you how to do this so now that you've got your knot, you're going to want to take your pieces and you're going to want to lay them in a cross shape. So I'm going to lay mine like this, okay? Now what I'm going to do so that I know where I began, because you're always going to want to start with the same piece that you started. So every time you do this, you're going to want to start with the same piece. To remember which piece I start with, now obviously I know I'm using yellow, but let's say I had two purples and two patterns that were the same. You would want to be able to mark it. So I'm just going to put a clip on it. Um, and so this is the one I'm going to start with, my yellow. What you're going to do is you're going to take your start piece or your yellow piece and you're going to put it across kind of like a J <laughs> or how, over top, like the candy cane shape, over top of the one next to it. Then you're going to take the blue, the one next to it, and you're going to put that over top of the purple. You're going to take your purple one and you're going to put it over top of your pink one. And then when you get to this pink one right here, you need to put it underneath the hoop. So put it over top of the purple and bring it up underneath the yellow. So if you guys can see that we are starting to create a box. And what you do now, I'm going to put my arm on this piece here, sort of. You're going to want to pull this. You're trying to create, you're going to pull this really tight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put something on that end. I'm going to pull these into a knot, into a square knot. See how it's starting to form that square? That's what, what we want. And we want to pull these real tight. So once you've pulled it, you should have something that looks like this. OK, 
okay and we're gonna do it one more time till we bring it back and then after this we're gonna fast forward the video <laughs> okay if you notice the piece that you started with it has moved a position so now it's in front of me we're gonna take that piece and we're gonna cross it over top of the one next to it we're gonna take the one this one at the top and we're gonna cross it over to the one next to that we're gonna take the purple and we're gonna cross it over top of the pink we're gonna take the pink and cross it over top of the purple and then we're gonna go up underneath of your yellow like this until we create this box and then we're gonna pull these until the box is tight Once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. And you can, you obviously have to tie it at the bottom. So um, I'm going to tie my knot just like I tied this one. All right, now you have that. And what I do is I take my pinking shears and I cut. And then you can even go a step further if you want and just split them. I do this for the ferrets because they like the little pieces. And there you have it. This one actually looks better than that one. Okay, so for this next tutorial, you're gonna wanna get two pieces of fleece and cut them into a square that are the same size squares. Now you could do this two ways. If you don't wanna see any seams on the underneath of this um, snuffle activity mat, then you are going to want to do this you're gonna to want to sew your two pieces together at the very end um, I'm gonna let the seams show for mine because on the bottom because I think it makes it more sturdy um, and I think having it more sturdy is better so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna start off by taking my two pieces of fleece and lining them up together um, they don't have to be 100% perfect but try to get them as close as you can to being lined up and then just pin them if you need to and we're basically going to stitch all the way around and we're going to leave about a three to five inch opening so you can flip this right side out when you're done so now that you've stitched this and you've left um an opening what i'm gonna do is i'm going to snip my corners so that my corners are rounded so now you're going to turn it right sides out So what I do is I'm going to make sure we have to stitch around this. So you're going to want to take your, see your opening and you want to take your net, your edges should kind of naturally roll in um, because you've created a seam. So I'm just going to clip those shut. You're going to top stitch all the way around and you're going to want to make sure that you sew this opening closed. Okay. So now that you have stitch that you should just have a square that's completely closed that has no openings um, this is going to be my top side so I'm just going to set this aside for a second and then you're going to want to grab some kind of scrap whatever, whatever kind of scrap fleeces that you have you're going to want them to be kind of big at least five by seven um, squares or in my case I'm going to try something different I'm going to try half circles <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a snuffle mat. I'm going to sew it on. Now, if you feel like sewing in squares is easier, then do that. Um, and I will show you guys how to do that as well. So what I've done now is this is the right side facing down, the right side facing down. I took a cake top and I traced around and then I left a kind of a gap and I'm going to cut strips here after I sew it on. And then I left this, and then I left this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those, and I'm going to sew them into the corner of my snuffle mat. So let's cut these first. Okay, so now you have your snuffle mat. You have your, your three pieces. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to set these two pieces aside. So I have two yellows and one pattern piece, but you can do this however you want. It's completely up to you. So you're going to head over to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch a line. 
right here, right in the middle. And you're gonna to wanna to probably back stitch at the ends. Okay, so now we've stitched right here. This is stitched down. So what I'm gonna do next, you're gonna take your next piece of the mat puzzle, if that's what we'll call it. You're gonna to wanna to lift this up, okay? Now, you wanna, you don't want it too far, but you kinda of want it maybe about it, an inch or so that should make sure that it's up in the corner it's gonna hang off the edge that's okay that's all right we can trim that and we can leave it so now that you've got it about this far apart you want this to be over top of here and then you're gonna do the same thing you did here you're gonna want to stitch from here up so keep it about just stitch about a half inch in or an inch in so now you've done that so you should have it should look like this your back looks like this now we're gonna do the last piece. Okay, so now that you've got all that stitched, I'm gonna trim off the side edges, see how it hangs over. I'm gonna cut that off. Now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna cut, first I'm gonna cut this, but not your stitch lines. You're gonna cut these as well but not your stitch lines. So every about every inch or so. All right. And then just kind of wiggle it around. All right, so that's one corner of your snuffle mat. Now we're gonna make some other spots. I have cut six more pieces, three of these, and there's a third one right here, and three yellows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one of these three packs aside and I'm going to line these up and I'm going to stick them right here. I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to go sew straight down the center of this. Okay, so now that you've sewn down your center right here, you're going to take your the other piece that you made, the three pieces. You're going to flip this backwards and you're going to kind of put this up against here a little bit. And you're going to stitch down the center. So now you should have something that looks like this. And you can do this as far down as you want. You can This could go on for as much of it as you want to. But what we're going to do now, just to give you an idea of why we did all that, we're going to start on this end. I'm going to try to get over here. We're going to cut up to about here. Now you can use straight scissors if you want to. I am a fan of the cute little scissors. All right, so now what I've done is I've cut out two circles that look like this. I'm gonna put one here, and I'm gonna put one over top, and I'm gonna sew an X through the center of it. So this is, um, there's little pockets here, and there's little pockets here. So there's four little pockets that you can put treats in. One of the other things I wanna put on here, and I'm gonna delint this in a second, is I cut a little square. It's um, just just a square. And I'm gonna stitch it on, and I'm gonna stitch all the way around the whole perimeter of the square. And then I'm gonna carefully cut an X in the center after I stitch it on. For this little pocket that we created right here, we need to cut a slit. So make sure you don't cut your blue, so you're gonna wanna kinda pull this up and just gently just cut this Piece. You could even probably cut this before. All right, and this is great for little small pets because they can get into side of there. So that's for that. So now I've taken and I've cut three pieces, each a little smaller than the other. I'm gonna put them on here like this. All right, so now I'm gonna stitch a line right down the center of these three. So I stitch down here. I'm gonna actually cut this a little bit. I'm just gonna trim this up a little. And I think that that's all I'm gonna leave on my mat for now, but you could absolutely add as much as you want to this, however much, and you could go on and on. You could fill the entire thing if you wanted to. Okay, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I will see you next time.